Uns ist live. Uns ist live. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het En dan heb ik het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb. Um, merk jij niet dat die pauze wat wat daar is, is een countdown nie? Sien jy dit nie op jou skerm nie? Wanneer hy speel nie? Ja, ja maar ek het die daai memo gekry nie, so ek het nie geweet dit is een countdown nie. Ek maar dit tel al af! <laughs> ek dink elke keer is een glitch. <laughs> dit nie, dit is een countdown. <laughs> so ja, goeie naand en welkom. Um, dankie dat jy die dag saam met ons spandeer het, die wat saam met ons was. Soos jy kan sien, ons is redelijk gaar gebrand. Um, die zon het omtrent voor ons gekou. Nou, Didi, waar was ons vandaag? Nee, ja, kijk hier om nou vandag te recap, nee. Um, ek kan het vir julle in een woord sê, dat een action movie sal nooit weer een action movie wees vir my, nie na vandagse aksie. Dit gaan Absolute. baie moeilijk wees om vers vast te hou by vandagse aksie. En ja, natuurlijk het ons geskoots, ek is bloedrooi en vooral, ja, ons is en dit alles om vir julle te bring, maar ek moet nou baie sê, ek het gegloe dat, um, dat iets gepraat van 10 uur, nou ek het nie gedink 10 uur beteken, hulle gaan 10 uur tot 3 uur toe protesteer nie, I thought they were like going, um, marching to the school, Malema getting on the stage, doing his thing, everything will be fine and done with, but unfortunately it didn't work that way, much to do about nothing that happened in the meantime, ja, dit was omtrent de dag om te, te onthou. Ek, ek dink ons moet net so'n video speel, net vir die mense wat nou nie daar was nie. Ek hoop, nee, nee. Um, ja, so hier is een kort video vir jou. And um, it's been quite a rowdy crowd at times, so, but the police are on it. Uh, at this stage, they have formed a barricade on the way to the school. There's a block wire, so nobody can pass. En daar verloor is van haar net. Ek hoop jy, sy is weer terug in die video in nie. Sy sal sêke nou nou terug wees. Ja, ek is Didi van Cape Town Happening en ons is bezig om te recap oor die dagse gebeure en alles wat ons ervaar het, hoe dit was, wat jy gemis het, wat jy nie gemis het nie. En om so'n bykie kleur in die story in te praat, dat dit nou net al bad was nie. Ek praat van wat ons ervaring uit, hoe ons dit ervaar het. Ek dink, dit is nie net een Ding wat ons vir jou sê, dis nou wat gebeur het en dis nou wat ons is en dit het ons wil graag een bykie vir jou vly berbuis het en voel vry as jy somkeier om een paar vraagies daar te sit. Ons kan probeer antwoord soos ons kan. Ek probeer net kyk waar Annette nou op die omlik is. Ja, sy is terug en Annette is terug. Ek is terug, jammer daar hoor. Ek weet glad nie wat nou gebeur het nie. Nou, die oomlik gedink jy is terug in die video in. Ja, wel, ek lyk my so groot geskrik. Het die video klaar gespeel? Ja, het gespeel. Weet jy, ek dink ons begin by die begin, van toe ons in volgende aangekom het. Het is baie moeilik, ja, om dit te... Didi, en dit was redelijk vroeg die ochend, ek meen daar die eerste skoot het hiervan, van kwart oor tien af gekom. Nou, 
as jy nou recht onthoud, ons sal aankom as het baie rustig, en selfs toe die, die um, groep, ek het nou probeer om foto's te laai, dit is nou eindelijk wat, wat my afgegooi het, want ek wil graag een beetje foto's ook gebring het, ons sikkel daarom, of ek sikkel daarmee, om even te weis hoe rustig dit was, en hoe, hoe dit net geëskeleid het, nee. Ek dink dat vir oogend het een new meaning to the word calm before the storm gegeen. Absolutely. En even, I was excited when I only saw this uh, small um, EFF members protesting or standing there at the post office and all of a sudden a bus stops with more EFF protesters. Okay, still bearable. And at the end of the, yeah. th- the day, the crowd grew to, I think, Almost 2,000. Ek is nie seker hoeveel daar was, en maar daar was baie. Daar was baie. En my question is, the EFF promised a peaceful march, a peaceful process today. Uh, do you think they delivered on that promise? Anir, I'm very disappointed. Um, you said actually to someone earlier that the the feeling that we got, because we we moved amongst them, we yeah. walked by faith today and we took our camera and we walked in between them and they actually spoke to us and the i was actually amazed i must add because those the few that we spoke to spoke very highly if i can put it like that yes. it sounded like they knew what they were talking about and the biggest issue is racism and i'm sure all of us would actually like to clear up racism and then while we like were there, we actually, like you also said, we were so treated so friendly. It was hello, and they were friendly with us, even offering or looking for drinks. Water. I even went and went to get some water there from water. the Jojo tank. And then while the speeches took place, this man going in front, um, I actually heard that he well, that's what I I think I heard what he said, that someone said, he actually asked him, why do you hate us that much? I don't know if you know more details. Yes, apparently he did that. He um, he walked in right where they were doing the speeches and somebody pushed him. And the moment he got pushed, he just, yeah, they just went on him. And they cleared him away and then he went back on his knees saying, we do not want to fight. I don't want to fight anymore. And really? that's when the... That's when the police took them away and the second round of, of, of no, that was the third time that, that shots were fired or hand stun grenades were thrown. It was, and but, Adele, did he? Yes. Now the EFF's response to that is they feel this guy was being disrespectful. Firstly, let's just express that they are like hammering on it that they are against racism. Now, the only racism that I hear from them the whole time is white racism. That's all that they say, white racism. So yeah. clearly they feel us white people are the racist people in this whole scenario. But mm. when you look at the footage of this guy being pushed and hit and when the uh, media spoke to them, the only thing that they had to say was that that guy, this white guy, he came in here and he was being disrespectful and he was looking for attention. That is what they said. So, hulle geloo, hierdie man het as spris gekom en kom aandag soek. And the idea I'm getting is, was actually going on his knees and asking, please stop us. Um, the video will speak for itself. I mean, early this morning, there was a group of, of, of um, Brackenfell residents asking the EFF members to please not put the toilets right in front of the houses or um, just to move it. And they saw it as a confrontation. And I saw the video. They were purely asking, as a belief, moet it nie hier sê, dit nie meneer, as a belief, skyf it anakan. And I was very disappointed at, at our uh, fellow media members because they described it as a confrontation. And I'm sorry, that is definitely yeah. not what it was. Um, I, feel, yeah. I feel like I said the other day, there's a, a notion amongst some of the people that they feel the media portray them in a bad way. And if there's one thing that Annette and I would always like to do is portray the truth from a yes. human side. And one thing also, Annette, that stood out to me today was the fact when we were standing against the fence and some of the locals that lived there came to speak to us. Yes, that was. And, yeah, they were very unhappy. 
they said that they feel um, their children goes to they go to the Brackenfell and even the primary school, and that they still feel that there's racism. Now, their main um, reason for feeling that way is they say that when there is meetings and stuff, the meetings are always in Afrikaans. Okay, so they feel that is racism towards them. But Annette, now I, I, I put it to you. What did the ANC, what did everybody in South Africa think will happen if they put different cultures together? That's the problem. Um, we're an Afrikaans culture. They are a Kosa, a Zulu. They've got their cultures. Now what's happening is one culture are trying to be forced onto everybody. So we are being um, forced to, in a way, be like uh, uh, um, the black culture, and the black culture must now understand Afrikaans. So I'm a very um, objective person, I'm, and I try to be righteous or um, um, rechtvaardig to wees. But my point is not, this is the problem. You always know me, I will always say, this is the problem. How are they going to address the solution? Because uh, according to these uh, parents, they have uttered in the uh, have yes. said grievances and all that stuff. But now, Annette, now the other country, so I brought my boy, but will my pen do it still? Is now cry you weer the other kant van die story for the people that ook nou dink ek ek is nou hier aan die op die een waar. But now cry you ons mense wat we voel we are being blatantly left out. In the, eco in the economic um, situation yeah. in, the, ach, in the country because it's BEE, -E, everybody. Now, hulle is ongelukkig, ons is ongelukkig. But what is the solution? But what also caught me, or my attention, was when they said, why is there only black waiters and why is there only black packers? And we tried to explain to them, because they are the ones that has to get the job, and they they don't believe that. No, they, they don't, don't believe. They that. don't believe that there's VEE going on. Um, they, they believe that. <laughs> what yeah. they did, I'm sorry to interrupt, is what we understood from what he said. He thinks that we are orchestrating something that all the blacks are still doing servant positions. They are the exactly. whites. They must do all the odd stuff because it's our fault, because we've got all the best jobs. And Annette and I were trying to tell him, but that's actually not the story. Um, my oh. child, if he does apply for that position, he won't get it because he's too white. And then you heard the other guy say it also, but he's too black. He's too black, so, yeah. What, what are we to do? I mean... You know, and what also got to me today is when they were doing their talks and... Somebody said the DA, the corrupt DA must fall. And I have no idea what they're talking about. The corrupt DA. The, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and it's as if they ignore the fact that their own government, our government, is so full of corruption and they're not even, they're not addressing that. They know that. They said that them, themselves. That the he, that he, um, regering is corrupt. No, but, 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 but why are they still there fighting one school? And they're admitting that now, because of the government that's acting this way or being corrupt, we are fighting against each other now, which I can't really see for justification because then we must all turn our anger towards the government. And now yes, we're fighting. And that's what you say to them. Yes. Yeah. But now. And, and then you Yes. You get that odd person that kept on saying, land, 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 land. Like, I almost want to say, I don't think it's, the, I think it's uneducated people. And remember, we spoke to some of them about farming. What are you going to do with the land once you have it? And they admit that they can't farm. It, it just feels to me it's, it's a power struggle at this stage. It's not about the bets for the country. It's a power struggle. It's almost like, the EFF wants to prove, and for me, it feels like, in a way, they are still acting racist. They are against racism, but all I can see is racist, because if they were against racism, and in general, and they were trying to get everybody to fall under their umbrella, why are there only blacks and um, some coloreds 
under the umbrella okay and of course this white guy that really stood out today and is getting a lot of attention in the media we, but if we need to talk about that guy did he can we can you hold on to that thought yes you no know, we I actually said to Didi after this I just want to do some good stuff so just to get us in the mood of some good stuff Gordon's Bay, a quaint Cape Town village at the foot of the Helderberg Mountains on the False Bay shore, offers you a delightful seaside holiday. With quality accommodation, Gordon's Bay is only 40 minutes from Cape Town International Airport and a quick drive to the winelands, garden and whale routes. Stroll through this picturesque village and explore the two marinas, character pubs, seaside restaurants and quaint shops. Enjoy an ice cream and then head for the beach. Bikini Beach with blue flag status and other white sand beaches offer crystal clear water, warmer than most other beaches in the Cape. Laze in the sun or enjoy hikes, cycling, surfing, kayaking and other adventures. Fun for the whole family. Stroll through the Milkwood Forest to the harbour where patient fishermen hope for a catch and lovers' dreams come true. Come and fulfil your dreams in gorgeous Gordon's Bay. Yes, that was definitely something lighter. Welcome back. Absolutely. And <laughs> Annette van Cape Town Happening in ons natuurlijk deel van the Happening Media Broadcasting. Terwijl ons op die positieve noot is, wil ek net graag sê, en dit het ek en Annette vandag definitief ervaar, Paul werd ons skjaal gekry het, die polis <gasps> ja. tops. Hulle tops. was op het, op het, op het, op het, definitief. Ja. Hulle was gepanser, geamer, kijk jy, hulle het gelijk, ek het gespot en gesê, hulle lijk soos robocops. Maar hulle het rechtig ja, goed in Maar nou, ek het een vraag om te vraag. Die, yes. as die EFF dan nou die recht gehad het om te protesteer, die honderd, um, hoekom is hulle toch een berkheid om dan te beweeg het na die school toe? Is dit omdat die, die 100 nie wou, hulle nie kon op een honderd kom nie? Yes, yes. Um, want, soos een van die, van die um, polisie officier heeft my gesê, hoe sê jy nou vir jou een kind, die is vir jou Roma's, en die ander moet kyk, hoe besluit jy dat, het, dat 2000 mense net 100 mense mag gaan? Mm-hmm. Ek ben, hulle moes geweet het, dit gaan dit gaan nie werk nie. En ek denk, die feit dat hulle toegelaat het, dan enigszins meer as 5, of meer as 100 mense ja. daar was, Hulle moest het in die eerste plek nie toegelaat het nie, want ons het geweer het gaan probleme veroorzaak. En weer eens, daar was drank betrokken, ek het ons daar vir jou gesê, ek reik dag al. So, en as jy daar elemente saam gooi, saam met een kraad mense wat hoogst ongelukkig is, honger en doos en warm, um, ure in die zon staan en wacht vir leiers, it, it's bound to explode. Kijk, jy ooit het toe die eerste drama uitgebreken, toe was ek en jy nou nie meer daar nie, maar um, het my lema toe gepitch? Weet jy iets gehoor ek, dat hy daar was? Ek nie, ek, ek, iets het my het nie, want anders zou daar, daar was nie iets daar oor he. Oké, okay. so, ek nou, weet nie wat die rede daarvoor is he. En het in ons gesprekke met die EFF um, soldaten, soos hulle hulle self genoem het, warriors, wat het hulle hulle self genoem? Fighters, fighters, en ek Weer eens, come ja. fighters. Um, dan, 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 fighters. Fighters. Dan is dit nie, ek is jammer, as jy praat van een fight, is dit nie pies nie. En die een ou het vir ons gesê, toe ons dan moest nou praat, toe sê vir ons, maar nie allemaal, daar is deel van hulle regime ja. of hulle ding. Nou my vraag is, waar kom die ander dan vandaan? En, hoe en wie is hulle? hulle? En maar hoekom laat hulle dit toe? Want Hierdie mense laat hulle in een slechte licht. Ek neem dan nou aan, dit is hierdie groep wat nou nou ook soos jylle in die einde toe met die veld brande en die klip gooi rai en daai goeders is, is dit wat hulle probeer sê, nou wat probeer hulle vir ons sê, dat daar is een mooi gedeelte in die EFF en dan is daar nou een vrootkool, dit is een bykie, daar is um, my baie grijs areas. Um, Ek, ek, is, ek het ook iemand heb ek bewus gemaakt daarvan, dat daar word een sterk, hulle, hulle manipuleer ons baie sterk, vooral, hulle probeer die media vooral manipuleer. So, ek, ek is ook gesê, dat ons moet ook nie alles geloot vir ons sê, dat hulle, ja, weer eens, hulle probeer ons manipuleer. 
Want hulle toch allemaal rooie hemde aan gehad. So as hulle nie deel van die... Aan die vijf? Modular Flooring Solutions Cape Town For your flooring, walkways and dance floor needs We offer portable and temporary event flooring solutions Using leading products and maintaining strict professional standards We guarantee and deliver only the best results Contact JC on 083-233-5818 Ja, ja, ja dit ek, het, ek het verschrikkelijke groot honde. Groot. Huge. En hulle wil net gaan een beetje gaan blaffen. Ja, so, um, terug op ons onderwerp, Annet. Um, mm. Dit is eigenlijk hard hier, want ik en jij is eigenlijk so, ons glo wat mense sê. So, nou gaan ons naar die mense toe met die oprechte haar. Ja, en ek denk ons wees, hulle is, ja, hulle is master manipuleerders. En ek denk, dit is ook, hoe hulle het, as jy nou dink, en, ja, maar as jy nou dink, en hoe hulle met ons gesel sit ook, hoe hulle die story verander, want die een oomlik, is het, gaan het oor die rasisme, dan gaan het oor die school, dan gaan het oor die land wat hulle wil, dan gaan het oor die werk, as of hulle nie rechtig weet, waar oor hulle daar is nie. Daar is het die mekaar gaai, daar is nie, hulle, hulle, dit is, dit is rasisme, maar dit is land, en dit is nou oorsko brakkenvel, dit is nou alles gekombineer, K- dis is ook om ek vir jou gesê het, as het oor rasisme gegaan het, ne, hoekom is daar dan nie meer mense op die bandwake nie? Want daar was ek ook een EFF member, um, ek hou ook nie ja. daarvan, dat daar ongel- ongelijk hierin moet wees, ek geloof ook elke persoon het een plek in die zoon, vooral as jy dit verdien, ek, ek bedoel, jy krij in elke groep, in wit, in bruin, in indies, in, in swart, Amal van ons het die vrotkole. Nie een van ons groepe is gevrywaar en sê dat, omdat ek nou wit is, het ons nie perfecte mense nie. Definitief nie. Maar ek sien ons komen, kommentaar Michael van die kerk het daar opgekom. Hy sê, Hallo Michael. <laughs> Michael, ek moet dit gaan vir jou sê, dat ek, um, to, breed voor ek in die, die live gaan, het is ek van, jong, ek het een rooie hempie aan, ek weet er om mag gaan uittrek. Het was maar die eerste in wat ek gegryp het, maar ek het hem uitgedrek, maar that's a very good idea, Michael. But Didi, let's talk about the youth leader, um, wat natuurlijk nou baie opspraak op sociale media maak. Um, ek het nou uh, uh, onderhoud geluister, dat hulle met hom gehad het, die mannekie weet nie waarvan hy praat nie. He's talking out of nonsense. I think if if there were, was a, a, a more, a bigger group of whites, like a hundred or something, that made sense, but he was actually the only white guy. There was another one, actually, a, a guy with ready shade. Yes, he was. But, but this um, guy is a, a youth leader. Oh, uh, okay, you see. But, um, but he was saying, he was saying that like Brackenfell, no, because Bracken, he, according to him, Brackenfell is violent. Way in your life, yes. He says that it, the, the racism is more prominent in Brackenfell and more violent. I So he's telling me that there's only white people living in Brackenfell. I'm very sorry that ain't true. And then he also said in the next sentence that um, they must go to, to Camps Bay and then those areas where the rich people are because the people in Brackenfell are poor. And that's why they shouldn't bother with the people in Brackenfell. I will try and get hold of that video and I will definitely post it as well. But come on, what is this child talking about? He's 21 years old. <laughs> and I mean, the best of all is he wasn't even part of racism. He didn't no. grow up in, in that era. And talking about the era, I mean, how far-fetched is that one of the spokespeople on the um, podium actually said, yes, and just remember in 1967, we weren't allowed to go on the beaches. Annette and I were standing there and thinking to ourselves, we have moved past that now. I mean, you're on the beach. beach. Everybody's on the beach. So why do we need to bring up old sores, old stuff to make things worse? I mean, Go to the fact now, where we are now. And I need also just, while I'm re- uh, remembering that, remember that the, the people that we spoke to in, at the fence, 
yeah. uh, that their children were in Brackenfell. According yes. to them, um, there weren't any, it's it's a, a lie that there weren't any invitations, yes, I, whatever. And, um, oh, I, I lost my thought pattern. What was the, 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 the thought that we were uh, actually discussing now? Um, um, <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, but there were three girls and all three of them said that they were not invited. And that was their mother that was also saying that when she goes to a school um, uh, meeting, the meeting is in Afrikaans. Yeah. Let's just, there's, a, there's another uh, comment from Michael. He says, it's not about racism, not about Brackenfell. If, if are only the puppies, they are controlled by Chinese. Why? I have proof what I say. Um, I've heard that as well. Yeah, so I don't know where, where it's all coming from. I put that say, get down there what I would say. Her words to us were, if Brackenfell will only apologize. Yes. And earlier Take on... Take responsibility. I, yeah. Take responsibility. And earlier on, when I got home, I immediately switched on the TV and I was looking for the channels that were actually still covering the mm -hmm. live feed. And there was a guy speaking there. Um, he was a spokesperson for the school. And actually, they did apologize. So... I'm thinking, why are the people then still under the impression that there was no apology? So I'm trying to understand why are people taking this whole thing so out of proportion? People will say that the EFF is, is just purely looking for a reason to moan or to complain or to protest because when have they ever needed a reason, a, a good reason to, to act the way they do? I mean... They were protest. They pro they're protesting about um, the school that's racist. But they throw, <laughs> they break down the post office. They uh, throw, um, yeah, they set the fire uh, fires, you know. And why? As a little, as, and remember Seneca when they were saying they need to protect public property. So why aren't they protecting it anymore? No. Why wasn't that on the table today? That's so a good question. But. Annette, I want to say, and I, I actually did say this on a group already, I am very proud today to say that I'm an Afrikaner. The other day, I, I must admit, I felt a bit ashamed. I felt because everybody was looking at us with a, a magnifying glass and saying we are these bad, racist people. And today, what stood out at, like a sore thumb? Their attitudes. Yes. That stood out. And yes. I was so glad and proud to just see that the other people remained intact. It was difficult. I mean, to, to stay, to, to, to actually just um, be in the background while other people threaten your livelihood, your mm. children, your children's school, and you just have to keep quiet. That's one thing that we can't do. But we did it today. And I am... And I'm very proud. Yes, yeah, same, yeah. And also, we didn't see the crowd that was there uh, um, last week, Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The the ones that were there, um, you know, when we had the radio interview, I forgot the name of the station we had, the interview was asking us, what are the residents doing? And we explained to them, they're standing on the corners praying. So on the one side, you have these guys that's burning and running and screaming and, and up the residents are on the corners praying. And that was amazing. That was actually, that's the first thing I noticed this, this morning when I um, parked my car. Um, there was lady, ladies with um, the, whole, uh, the ram's horn mm -hmm. and they were blowing that and they were praying. And Annette, I don't know how you feel. And I know that people, oh, you're not supposed to go all spiritual and all that stuff. But I really felt a protected hand uh, over us today. And I mean, we we walked amongst them. We we <laughs> I gathered or, or asked for water from their Jojo tank, and I felt safe. I didn't, I didn't feel threatened at home. all. Threatened, and yeah, no, we can no. ask it because they were maybe they didn't want to harm us. But I also want to say that we had some protection, heavenly protection, and I'm glad for that. And mm. the other thing is, Michael. Um, what I also have noticed is that it's definitely um, 
it was a campaign thing today. It, oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. No. Um, but they were campaigning Malema. because Malema will help you. Malema will will save you from the racism, and that's not the way to go about. Nobody is going to be saved from racism the way they want to do it. But let's just do a short ad break and um, we'll be back in a minute. But please invite your friends to to also join in. And uh, we want to hear from you. We want you to chat with us about today if you even followed what was going on today. Because this is for you that we're doing it. Yes. <laughs> En dit is Didi en Annette vir Cape Town Happening, Happening Broadcast Media. Annette, ek het nou hier een boodskap gekry. Iemand het het na ons Facebook page toe gestuur. Yes. Didi, kan ek het gauw gevoer hier het lees? Net vir ons, vir ons kijkers en ons luisteraars verduidelik. Um, want mense het nou vandag gevra oor Happening Media en, en Cape Town Happening en Halderberg Happening. So kom ons verduidelik gauw net vinnig vir jou. Happening Media is die sambreel en dan is Captain Happening en Halderberg Happening beskermd onder die sambreel. Vandag was die sambreel clearly nie daar nie. Dit <laughs> <laughs> is het lelik gebrand, maar dit is waar oor het gaan, dit is waar oor Happening Media gaan, uh, en dan is ons Captain Happening en Halderberg Happening. Maar saam is ons span, alhoewel ons redelijk onafhankelijk van mekaar werk. Ek wil net noem, dat ek gaan vir Malema, een duidelike rekening stuur vir die extra plooie wat ek gekry het, en dat ek nou moet ek my Boutek Botox gaan kry. Maar ja. nou ja, ek moet sê, die feedback was vandag fenomenaal van die mense wat op ons WhatsApp geklik het op ons page, en die ene het ingekom, die mense wat vandag als op video live record het, thumbs up, you did a great job, Better than e-news, SABC news, the Son Courant, you name it. I feel sure I don't Thank even you. I feel. Yeah, you know, that's 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 such Thank kind you. words. Annette and I are just yes, being ourselves Thank and you trying very much. to bring it out there. Um, oh, what's that again? Oh, uh, there's another. Oh, uh, yes, okay. let's put it on the stream. The uh, the Buru was present. One. Ek weet daar van, before that, uh, we got, no, but, oh, there we go, sorry about that, uh, Brackenfield made the mistake by advertising the private function after you guys left, the EFF started fires all over Brackenfield, the backup of protection was present, yes, um, and then those other stars is ook gemaak, uh, Michael, if you, I don't know, I'm sure you know about that, but they made some arrests mm. after that, but Michael, let's just look here, from the our Yes, Our amazing, absolutely. Um, that was no yeah. all the uh, what the Mary Beard Wach. They the were on it. Wach, the, the Thank you very much. Ek weet al was, die, um, ons het ook met Willem, ons gaan nou met, vir, vertel ook ons met Willem Petser gesels, dit was nogal een groot oomlik geweest, en Willem sê daar da was um, ondersteuningsgroepe recht rondom strategische ja. plekke geplaas. So ja, die Boerelegioen was pre- present, if the purple popo hit the fan, I have Facebook called South Africa, sorry, I have a Facebook called South Africa against lockdown, all the proof is there. O, jene, en dan sê Michael ook, um, hy geniet, het ons updates geniet. Thank you Michael, we, we'd like to hear, we like, we like your comments as well. <laughs> Yeah, I've got this one um, guy, he's in Thailand, and he started following us now as well, and he sends me regular messages, and I have to laugh because um, he saw the video of this guy, and he's like, can't this guy, he's so still so young, can he, can he not just be reborn again so that he can grow up? They were like, I don't think that people can understand this young guy fighting for a cause that he doesn't even really understand as jy die groter prentjie sien van... Ja, want die een oukie wat ons geïnterviewd het, hy ken, hy is 23 jaar oud. 
So I, I, I said, I mean, Rusty. Yeah. Uh, he said he was, he was in, born in 1993 and he wasn't part of it. But the stuff that he said, I could understand where he was coming from. Yes, absolutely. I, I do understand it. But, but then you like had yes. the others in the and, background. And, you know, even knowing EFF's history, we still thought that, in a way, hope that they will for once have a peaceful protest like they promised. But, yeah, we should have known better anyway. I even negotiated with the police. Yes. Promised the police that they will be peaceful and they will not cause a havoc. I mean, what the fudge? I mean, yeah, it was I feel that they should actually implement something like um, revoking the um, permit. Yes, absolutely. Like a three months no. or one week or two week. If anybody applies for a permit to protest and they cause havoc, I feel that they should be accountable for it and that they should get like a penalty, either a big amount penalty or they should be, um, they, they cannot apply for another penalty within three weeks, uh, another protest for within yes. the next three weeks. Because there's no consequences. They just do. There's no consequences. I think, that's, I think that's what he means. He means the plot work. So, that means that they all the things can do and they can work on them. And now, what's the most like? Mensen that protested at the uh, hospitality services, they could work more. Nie. But not yeah. with the fire, they ride with the motor fiets and they was with water, with the water bomb, or skip. I don't know how it sounds weird, but yeah. Um, Michael, what say you there? I will share your uh, live video now on my Facebook group. Thank, thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've got another question that I wrote down here. I actually saw also on the mm -hmm. live feed part of the speeches that they made. The one guy actually said, and I quote, if Brockenfell does not change, then the EFF will become a permanent residence of Brockenfell. I think what they meant by that is that they are going to permanently stalk Brackenfell until we change our mind. So what is it that they, you know, they're giving the problem again. Oh, my hat. And the Annette and disappears again. Um, yeah, it was said in one of the um, briefings on the stage that if Brackenfell doesn't change, they will make sure that the EFF becomes a permanent residence. Yes, I need again. <laughs> yeah, um, they also said that they, they demand the the two teachers, but the teachers didn't even organize the, the party, but the, the, the two teachers and the principal, they dismissal. And I think they said seven days, if, Bracken, if that's not done in seven they days, back. they will... They will, and they they promise to take over. I mean, didn't they promise to to bring to bring Brackenfell to a stand down today? To a, I oh, do a and they hit absolutely that gedoen. On that, they did deliver. Perfect. So, uh, um, there was another thing I wanted to ask. I was thinking, oh, and while I was watching um, the the coverage of the news and everything today, um, they had a discussion. Yeah, Michael, ons weet, ons kan Afrikaans praat, maar ons het baie keer mense van internationaal, van die UK, <laughs> en nooit wat luister, so ons, as ons, sorry, as ons, um, Afrikaans, as die plak, as ons kan wat die plak klink, maar ons wil hem probeer om allemaal te akkomodeer, so het is hem nou nie, hoekom ons Engels praat, he. maar, uh, oe, nou wil ek gaan by punt kom van my story, um, kan jy onder waarom ek begin het, oe, jylle, ek het een kort memory, Ja, maar het was daar een marobbe dag geweest, nee. Ja, dat um, was. Terwijl uh, jy jou so gather, um, wil ek so my net jy noem, ons het net besek vroeger gesê, ons het um, vroeger gehad om vir Willem Petser vandag te ontmoet, en dit was nogal, dit was nogal een groot oomlik geweest, want hy is baie actief betrokken um, in die koos, en hy, hy maak sy stem gehoor. So, ons gaan in die einde van die onderhoud gaan ons vir jou, of van die, die gesels, gaan ons vir jou baie goeie nie spring, rakende Willem Petser. Het jy nou al jou, jou gedagtes gegather? Ek, ek het nou so half bykie vergeet, ek sal nou weer dink. Um, wat ek nou wil sê is, maar dan moet ek julle eers vertel, ons sien hier die man daar staan, en ek sê van net, maar dis wil, ek dink dis Willem Petser. Sy is die nie, ek sê maar vrou, sy is die nie, 
Nicht nur ist es die eine, die Mox hat, ich nehme noch mit der Plan. <lacht> Du sagst, sie haben Masker für ein Ja, ich denke, ich habe ihn gefragt, ist jij Willem? Weil ich meine, we need to know. Ja, ich Und du hast es auch noch sehr, sehr nice da, oder eigentlich? Nein, ich habe ihn gesehen, was ich vorhin gesagt habe. Ich war bezig, um zu sprechen, wie das Programm auf der TV war. Das war mit der Human Rights Commission. Mit der Leute, die wir sprechen. Alles ist neu, die ist da, alles ist, alles ist in der Nies. Und die Frage, die er fragt, eigentlich ist, Why is there so many white um, teachers, but you only see two or three blacks? And I'm thinking, but why is this an issue again? How come it now weer? How come it all the time in the Zoom world? Don't all the swartes not learn for for onervisers not first go and see what the ratio yes. is of the people. How many black teachers are there before you just assume and make an assumption that there's only white teachers? Yes. <laughs> Did they even apply for jobs there? They're not going to work there if they didn't apply. And isn't it about the kids? Don't you want the kids to have the best possible no, education? Be that a black, yellow, green teacher, no matter what. An avatar can come there as long as they give the children a good education. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so tired of this race thing, just jumping up around every corner. And I need also to say to someone today, and I must actually, I've never thought of it, but in the back of my head, it does bother me a, a bit. But when you go to a place, say if you go to the hospital or anywhere that you must fall in a form, there's always that question: Are you white, I, Asian, Caucasian, black? Uh, I don't, I'm, I don't. I'm, think I'm, I'm a person. I'm not. Um, I'm. I'm a South African, and I'm proud to be a South African. And like we said to that, those guys, you cannot chase me back to Europe. I don't come from Europe, so don't don't send me back. I'm not from there. They <laughs> still laughed and said, "No, they won't send you back." What did they say? <laughs> yes, they said. I, they said I could stay. <laughs> We're just gonna do a go for a short ad break again. Hands old jewelry designs. Every piece of jewellery is handmade with precision and love. For quality titanium and stainless steel products, contact www.hanseljewelrydesigns.co.za Use promo code AHO1. And we are back and it's myself, Manette Avanga, and of course the... Um, did he cook? I was going to say the crayfish mm. colored. Did he cook here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we did this for you. <laughs> and we are talking about the happenings of today, of course, in Brackenfell, um, where the EFF protesters, of course, did not um, adhere to their promise to have a peaceful protest. <laughs> Annette, the thing is, they wanted to march to the school to hand they over wanted. the kingdom. That is the main objective. But yeah. only 100 were allowed to do this, but they actually um, also stepped the bound overstepped their boundaries on that one. So they were allowed nowhere near to the school or anything because they couldn't decide. Now, let's talk about when they got on, on stage, then Amanda talked yes. spoke, and all the people that spoke. You remember Amanda, Annette? I remember yes. Amanda. I am quite fed up with Amanda. <laughs> then I, oh. and I saw that, okay, this is only going to be um, now just to tell the people again, Amandla and um, Viva and all that stuff. So we decided to rather leave. Sorry, I, I just tried something there. Um, uh, that's a photo. No, Yes, I didn't know if it was going to work, so I see it will work. That you will see the photo of uh, the police and the crowd just on the other side of them, and I'm really, really proud of of how the police reacted, acted, and reacted today. Sorry. Yeah. And, and, and in between the crowd, there were barbed wire. So yes, um, that was amazing. Yeah, that was amazing, and the way that they actually used the truck to drop the barbed wire, it's oh. it's quick and efficient. I I've always never seen how they did it. Yes, I've never seen an operation like today. Um, right from when we started, the uh, yeah, let's just see Michael. 
uh, EFF came to, yes, 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 yes. They definitely came to, but, but that is what they said. They said that they would be back. They, um, when they came last week, Monday, they were faced with members of, of the residents and parents, um. Um, and they were not happy with that. Remember the PA, oh, yes, was this banned, and yes, that's correct. Are they taking but they, the on them or for them? Probably for them. Let's just go back to Michael's mm. comment. On um, Michael, just explain. You you're saying they are taking revenge on PAC. Do you mean because the PAC was disbanded, and that's why they came to take revenge? If you can just clarify that one for us, we would appreciate that. Um, Didi, I also wanted to talk about uh, the businesses around um, the area today. They were all closed, of course. Um, yeah. Even the pick and buy hypermarket, I understand, was also closed. And that's a huge loss in income for a lot of people again today. So that's. Well, they wanted to bring Brackenfeld to a standstill and they succeeded. It's just sad. Um, and you and I, when we spoke to that one guy, we tried to ask him, um, isn't there another way that you guys can do it? Do you remember that he spoke because yes. he still asked us as white people? Do we feel yeah. oh, that we're yes, yes. doing right or wrong? And Annette gave an honest opinion. But really costing the country money, that's not necessary. I mean, um, he asked me if, if I think racism is alive. And I, and I said to him, yes, because it is. We can't get jobs. because, And that's when he, he they're not aware. It, it looks, it sounds like they're not aware of anything called BE. Because he said, what, BE? No, no, no. They don't know about it. We know about it because we go through this. We feel um, it. So, yes, there is very much racism. But for everybody, we are all suffering under racism. It's just, uh, it's actually just uh, a circle that's going on and on and on. Um, the one group hates the one, the other group hates them back, and nobody comes to a, 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 a mid yeah, A unity. Thing. That's the only way is to unite. Um, we're probably going to have to start wrapping up this conversation. Yes. Um, if there's anyone else that has a comment, oh, here we go, Mike, Michael. Yes, that is true. They they couldn't make uh, because they no. weren't supposed to be there at all. That no, they didn't have a permit to be there. No, uh, I'm quite tired after the day. Yes, that's the thing. That's what we said to uh, um, the guy today. That that makes us angry, um, mm. us as whites. That it's not the best person for the job. You must be. There must be a quota. I mean, if they can just start looking for the best man for the job and not worry about quotas, but now they've got this quotas, they must be this, this, this. You can't organize or, or rule a country with quotas. You need the best person for the job. And this can it be black, white, Indian. It doesn't you know, matter. Um, and, you know, like when we did the interview with U.S. from, from Irania, he said that no culture should be uh, uh, reigning, o reigning over other cultures. Nobody should be in charge of other cultures. And I kind of agree with that because we are just too different. We grew that's up different. different. Our culture is different. Our, our beliefs are different. So that's, that's what's true. making it so difficult. But then we are together in this country. So somehow we are going to have to coexist. I don't know how, but we're going to have to coexist. Annette, we spoke about um, specific this one party that we had an interview with, but oh, not a party, this movement, mm -hmm. I can say, or alliance. Um, yeah. your, from your, well, we're not supposed to talk about opinions, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if something like that must happen, that we must split up the country, it won't be because we think we don't belong with coloreds not colors, or I mean the blacks. Any, it's not that any race, people. yeah. Yeah, it's because there's so many differences in our cultures. They are mixing a culture together. Where do you start? It's the languages. It's the belief systems. Uh, it's the uh, 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 values. And mm. they are putting it all in one big pot and trying to boil it to make a new solution. 
and it's not but, working. But there has to be some sort of a, um, solution on that because we are living together in one country. So I don't, know. Not, I don't know. I'm saying why um, not think about giving, just splitting the country up and say, okay, those of you that can't stand the whites and those of you that can't stand the blacks, there you go, and all the others can go where they want to. And Let's if you're just, there, you will not be complaining because you can't get a job because no, it's <laughs> yes. yes. I wish it, we should take charge of this country, I think. I will be writing uh -huh. on the post and tell him, these two blondes will do this country for you. <laughs> it's just, so. We're just going to take one last uh, break. Be be uh, we have to wrap this up. And I can't wait to bring you the good news. Didn't that glass of wine just look divine there? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to my water oh. now. Um, mine's empty. <laughs> um, Didi, what were your last thoughts, your overall impression of today? Oh, um, I don't I, know. I would say, yeah, for I me it is. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. You asked for me, me for my opinion. I must think you about it. Then I'll, I'll, I'll give mine in the meantime. I think I'm very proud of, of our um, police force and um, the officials, how they reacted and acted and how they were there. I was disappointed in one of the people that we actually spoke to. Um, she wasn't very, one of the, I think she was a Metro police officer and she was really, really unfriendly and really, um, yeah, not wanting to talk to us. And we, she was abrupt, yes. And, I sort of got the feeling she she doesn't want to be there or she's not quite supporting her reason for being there. But besides that, um, and then I was quite happy with the crowd in the beginning. I thought, oh, this is going to work. But I was very disappointed to see all those clubs and sticks and pangas. Um, uh, Willem said in one of his videos, after the first uh, bombs and, and uh, shock grenades, he was picking up pluckies and pangas and everything that they left there. <laughs> and I ran. Oh, my word. Yeah. And your impressions. Yes. Well, my impression would be, um, firstly, that it's more sad. Um, I, I said earlier on last night, I felt very sad because my heart is bleeding for our country because there's no solution. Like Michael said there, splitting up those that hate each other won't work, it would be seen as apartheid. So yeah. um, that's still sad. I just, I don't know what the solution will be. But um, I think what was sad for me at the end of the day is that even though I wanted to believe that maybe the EFF, when we left there, okay, this is how it's going to stop, was to see when I got back home how they were destroying businesses. And Can I share that, that quickly? Can I share that? No. Let's try it on the other side of the bus and climb to get back. Let's try it on the other side of the bus. The police is busy with the other side of the bus. Let's try it on the other side of the bus. Kijk in de zon en ze kunnen zien wat ik wat ik afneem niet. Ik ben maar net mooi. Sorry, ik heb dood wat ik zie nu in de club en de pad gezien gaan. Oh, 
weer die brandweer met klippe Kijk al, kooi die brandweer met klippe Mense kan nie by die vier uit kom hier Die bakkie moedige mense aan, lyk het my Hier het nog een vierkie hier uitgebreek Net hier voor Nog een vierkie uitgebreek Ek denk ek gaan nog van die dak op klim, ek wil my moet met die klip Hup, daar is die eerste kar Ah, kak die eerste kar by Hyundai Daar kom nog een oukie Daar kom nog een oukie, hou hem dop, hou hem dop Hou hem dop Wat is hy nog, wat is hy nog Wat is hy nog, wat is hy nog Wat is hy nog, wat is hy nog Kijk okay, mensen, dit is nu hier bij Brakkenveld langs Hyundai. En het is bezig om regelij aan het te nemen. Dat was sad. Very, very destructive. And I mean, hell. You know what thought came to mind now, Anne? The first thing yeah. I'm seeing is, put all the differences aside. Put all the colors, everything aside. This is our country, not our our everybody's country. everybody's yes. country it's our law enforcement vehicles it's our um well fire trucks Risk. it's our it's rescue our boat. equipment yeah everything belongs to us in this country they look like people that are coming from mars and destroying something I'm sure they don't go into their own homes and start hitting their own TVs. Why are they destroying stuff that's also theirs? It's their country too. It's their stuff too. It actually breaks my heart because you won't destroy your own stuff. So why do you destroy the stuff of South Africa? They say that they want to protect all our stuff, this is not protecting. Um, so, Didi, our, our conclusion is they promised a peaceful march, which they obviously did not get. They played right into everybody's hands saying that it is not possible for the EFF to have a peaceful march or a peaceful protest. Um, I don't think there's ever been one protest where they haven't broken something, burned something, looted something, and they have just proven that once again today. Very, very sad. I agree, racism should fall, but the poor Hyundai car has nothing to do with your racism problem. Would you like to share well, the good news? Yeah, share yes, the good news. Let's just get on another topic. We're very excited. Tomorrow at 10, Didi and I will be talking to the one and only, drumroll, Willem Peter. We are so excited to, to have him on the show. Um, so 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll hear all about his day in, in, well, in Cape Town, in Brackenfell. I think he's, he'll still be in Cape Town tomorrow. And we're looking very, very for, much forward to talking to him. That is a huge, yeah, that's a huge yeah. thing. I can't even walk in here. <laughs> Huge ding, want it like all five balls of steel. It, yeah, it's just an absolutely. What for day? What up stand? What proud? This for me amazing. What and I think that I would put on a party, but just to have that much guts. So I think I don't know. So yeah, good morning. Ook een tien uur te dan van mij aan het halen ga in Didi Cook. A cook met een vinger in een i op je einde niet die cook wat jij eet. Let wel. Ons het, so, ons het vandag um, live vir jou die, die verrichtinge gebring van Brakkenveld daar in die, in die, of daar hier in die noordelike voorstede van Kaafstad wat het natuurlijk achter chaos was. Ons sluit vir jou af met een kort advertentie en dan is ons morgen weer terug. Bye bye! bye. bye.